Come on. Woo! That's it. Hey everybody, welcome back to Potski Outdoors. Today we're coming to you from the wonderful state of Alaska. And yep, the sun is out. It's not foggy, it's not raining. We couldn't have asked for more perfect weather here. Oh boy. We're 100 miles offshore. Look at it. It's like a lake out like here. Like a lake. Welcome to Lake Alaska, folks. Bring out the water skis here in a minute. Yep. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Potsky Outdoors takes us all over North America to see some of the best fisheries that are out there. This is the pinnacle of rockfish fishing in North America. Looking for rocky structure pinnacles, that's where all the bait fish congregate. Um, and then all the lingcod and rockfish, that's where they come to feed. Uh, we're about 90, 100 miles out of Seward right now, looking for some big lings. Not really how, but more lingcod, uh, rockfish, yellow eye, those kind of species. Nice yellow eye. Dropping our fire brine baits and our halibut and rockfish nectar baits down to the bottom and seeing what we catch. Mountaineers on. Mountaineers on. This one's heavy. Take me home. This one's country road. Love love. This one's heavy. Peeled out some line. This one. Okay, with this halibut and rockfish nectar, it's so easy. You just tip your jig, drop it to the bottom. As soon as I hit the bottom, it it. You had trouble getting to the bottom to get through all that blacky bass. Yeah, they're usually schooled up pretty good, but you can, you can get down and get through them and you'll get to the link cut. Uh, but there's usually a lot. Where there's one, there's a lot of them. Lunch. People think it's really easy to catch fish, and it is if you have the right bait. We're using two things today halibut and rock fish necker, and our chartreuse firebine. The chartreuse firebine has been for our herring. We're using it on our herring to make them toughen up a little bit and to get them shinier in the water, they're UV. Halibut and rockfish nectar is for our larger herring. We're using two different sizes of herrings today. Drop the herring in the bucket. We already got some halibut and rockfish nectar in there. We're gonna pour a little bit more. Simple as that. All you have to do is let it sit in there overnight and you are done. If this is a bass, it's the biggest one I've ever caught. Oh, yellow eye, yellow a eye. monster. Bam! That's what I wanted. That's a yellow eye. Alaska style, baby. Oh, you think of that one? Nice one. I like that one. Pulled very hard. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Big yellow eye, and we pulled up some crazy looking critters that who knows what they were. But Starfish! <laughs> I'll tell you what, that halibut rockfish nectar is the stuff. And catches just about everything. Look at that quilly sucker, what you think? <laughs> Ooh, what is that? Man, that's cool. Hooked up again. Yellow eye, baby! Woo! A monster! <laughs> Woo! That's a pig right there, baby! They bite, so watch out. The monster yellow eye. That's why we came to Alaska. We are doubled, doubled again. It's almost getting silly out here how many bites we're getting. It's My halibut. arms are getting sore too. Yep. The halibut and rockfish nectar is doing its job. And it's a ling, baby. It is a ling. Piece of the whole herring. Got these brine and chartreuse fire brine. Take them and drop them right to the bottom. As soon as we get to the bottom, we'll ring up, reel up a couple cranks. It's a real poor bottom right here. As soon as it hits, we'll have a fish on. There we go. Oh yeah. That was quick, right at the bottom. Reel up one crank and bam. Just like that. Wow, nice fish. That's good eats right there. This is all you do. Rocket science. We recommend about half a bottle. The chartreuse fire brine. We're using Potsky fire brine today. What we're doing 
is we're gonna give ourselves four options today. We're gonna to show you how difficult it is to brine your herring yourself on the boat, not even something you have to do while you're at home. So you take your herring, and you're just gonna dump a half bottle right into that bag. This one's green, zip it up, and you're gonna be ready to go. Now we're gonna do all four colors here. It toughen ups your herring. It basically shines them, makes them flashy. Simple as that. All the brine is now in the bag. All the herring is now in the brine. Chartreuse, blue, green, natural. We give ourselves several different options out there. Let the fish decide what color they're gonna go after on that particular day. It's on, baby. <laughs> A lot of weight. A lot of power. How you doing, Luke? Are you guys double? I you understand on? why you're you on? sweatshirt. Yes, I'm on. And it's heavy. <laughs> Another double. Another double and heavy. You having fun, Lowell? <laughs> Whew, boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> a lot of work having fun. Bopping it, got right away. Let's see if you can get it up first, Lowell. Uh -uh. <laughs> that didn't come out very well. But... Yeah, I was just going to say. I don't know if I want to be involved in the filming of that. that <laughs> you don't win that one, you're in real yeah. trouble. Yeah, I got a ling That's here. a ling. I got That's a ling. A nice this is a nice fish. You're gonna have to go under me. Woo! The beast! Yeah, boy! Oh. Yes, sir! You never even whined. Bring it in, John. Woo! Woo! Baby. Not even That's cool. A, That's a damn. Oh, caught all the way up. You can tell it's a ling when it went to like it. Should I, uh. The lings. Firebrine chartreuse herring. We'll put that on a jig. Just like that. And we'll drop it down and catch a monster. Something down there. Okay. Beautiful out this morning. Look at that sun. You just said sun and Alaska <laughs> in the same sentence. That's right. Fish on! Good morning, sunshine. Cupcake. Whatever it may be. This is a good one. Yeah. Is it? Maybe a ling and it's ripping me. Whoop whoop. Way to start the morning. What we're trying to find is the yellow eye and ling cod. And I think we've done it already this morning. On uh, on both sides. Even the mountaineers got one. <laughs> Holy ling, ling cod. Got a piece of that. Two for two. Back he goes. Fishing about 50 feet of water. The chartreuse, the UV. There we go. He's on. That quick. That's what I'm saying. This might not be a bass, dude. The free willy on the line, baby. Oh, it's a wing, baby. It's a wing. Johnny, look at this one. You know, Alaska, we're, we're sitting right on the continental shelf here. And you can fish anywhere from 25 feet down up to six, 700 feet down if you really wanted to. We're focusing our efforts today anywhere from 50 to about 150 feet. Not because that's where all the fish are, but because that's where it's most comfortable to be fishing. 
Woo! Another Alaska link. Here we go. Link cod in Alaska. Strong. Yellow eye. Oh, yellow eye. Big Ooh, old. That's a nice one. Yellow eye. That's what we came for. Yellow eye. That's a f***ing monster. Holy sakes alive. Look at that thing. That hit. Oh, my phone. Yellow eye. There we go. Yellow eye. Wow. I thought I could do this. There's a workout right here. Something big. Oh! It's getting easier. It's coming out. It's got my arms shaking. Come on, baby. Hope you guys don't get tangled. Oh Jesus, that's a huge yellow eye. <laughs> huge! Good job, Chris. Woo! Look at the size of that. The master. The mountaineer <laughs> himself. <laughs> that's a nice fish. Holy smokes. <laughs> Holy. Something is definitely big. Feels like I haven't even really moved him like that. I think it's a big link. His head shakes. Come to daddy. It's a big link. Grab me that, grab me that guy. Yeah boy! Oh, 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 nice. Nice. Now I'm smiling. <laughs> Team Potsky's right here, baby. Only in Alaska. <laughs> wow. Woo! Jigged up halibut and rockfish nectar. Whole herring on a jig. Look at that. Beast. How much do you think that weighs? Uh, it's about 30, 35. 30, at least. Uh, Getting heavy. <laughs> <laughs> These are the yellow eye. We're gonna do a little seasoning panko crust and an egg batter. Cutting into little pieces. Put the seasoning on. Let them sit for half an hour, 45 minutes, and then put the batter on and put it in. This is Alaska. We are here to bring fish home. Uh, eat the rockfish, the red snapper, the lingcod, some of the best tasting fish in the world. So if you come up here with some good bait, you'll be able to bring a lot of fish home yourself. We've been out here for three days, sleeping on the water, sleeping in coves at night. Uh, right now we've got guys in the back cleaning fish. We're just kind of tooling around islands here. Sheep on the cliffs. It's unbelievable fishing. It wasn't fishing the last couple days. It was catching. Lowell's got a fish on already. Fishing at Disneyland. <laughs> Going home with a bunch of meat in the box. So good trip.